Welcome back to American Agenda. All right, political star power. Some people say keep celebrities out of politics. Hmm. It's time now for the other view. Well, a new article from USA Today asks this question. Why haven't female celebrities crossed into politics? We've seen plenty of famous men, Donald Trump, Ronald Reagan, Clint Eastwood, Arnold Schwarzenegger, throw their hats successfully into the political ring, but their female counterparts have largely stayed out of the game. And joining me now to discuss, Director of Communications for the America First Policy Institute, Hilton Beckham, and Project 21 member, publicist and political activist, Whitley Yates. Great to have both of you stars on with me this afternoon. All right, Whitley, let's start with this. Here's this poll. In a poll of 1,000 people, USA Today found that nearly 30% would support Oprah Winfrey, Sandra Bullock, and Serena Williams. Interesting selection there. Oprah doesn't surprise me if they ran for office. But other high-profile women, such as Beyonce or Jennifer Lopez, garnered minimal support. I don't know, Whitney, what do you, or Whitley, what do you think about celebrity women? Are they intentionally avoiding running for office? I mean, I don't think that they should be running for office. I think celebrities should stay in entertainment and not in Congress, because to be honest, we're getting a lot of the entertainment element within our politics, and it's actually something we should be moving away from. Sometimes I look at these celebrity personalities as people that they would want as politicians based upon sometimes the characters or the caricatures that they play. I don't think that they necessarily have a role in leading people in this way, developing policies that are going to push this country forward. I agree. I don't think... Uh popularity equals political prowess, so to speak. All right, Hilton, when asked in, about the lack of female candidates in this poll, here's what a lot of the respondents say. They blamed it on sexism and then that women were simply too smart to run for office. What do you think? No, I don't think that at all. I mean, if we take a step back here, I think when you look at who they're naming, they're naming people like Taylor Swift, Beyonce, these are famous singers, famous actors. Those roles don't really translate to doing well in the highest seat really in the world, being the president of the United States. Someone like Donald Trump, he translated so well into that role because he was a billion billionaire a real estate mogul businessman. So we trust a man who knows how to do business, knows how to cut deals, knows how to make a strong economy to fill that role. And someone mm -hmm. like Taylor Swift and Beyonce, they don't give those vibes. But what about when you think of someone, Hilton, like like Ronald Reagan? I mean, he, he was an actor. So what, what real credibility, theoretically, would he have had? You know, I think this is going to make me, this is going to make the feminists angry, but Ronald Reagan, look at him with the movies he played in. He was always a strong male lead, a cowboy, something, something that took charge. Whether you like it or not, whether you're a feminist, Democrat, liberal, Republican, whatever, you want someone in the office who portrays strength. And a lot of these women, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, they're powerhouses. They don't portray the strength and the, um, the uh, patriotism that someone like Ronald Reagan did. So I think that's mm -hmm. why people would be drawn to him and not to our pop stars nowadays who sing about how they get broken up with all the time. And it's hard to imagine someone like, I don't know, J-Lo or Beyonce or Taylor with their fabulous little performance outlets kind of, you know, leading the uh, greatest country in the world. That's my thoughts anyway. But also Taylor Swift, they polled and 73% of those polled said they were less likely to support her if she ran for office. So they were going to have to leave it there. Something to think about. Hilton Beckham, Whitley Yates, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.